and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be walking through my spring break project which was to create these pressure sensor light up LED high heels. I did follow a tutorial for these. So I followed Beauty and the Bolts tutorial on this and I pretty much followed it to a T. So I will have them linked down below. I did change up a few things like how I concealed all of the products as well as the type of shoe and the coat that I used. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. This entire project took me about two days because I did mess up on my first day and then it cost me about $110. Beauty and the Bolt said that they only took them $25 per shoe but I have no idea how they did that because it was $110 for me and I already had my shoes and my soldering iron and the solder so it's a very expensive project if you do want to recreate it for yourself. I'm going to show you all the products that you're going to need to make this shoe in the next slide. All of them can be found on my Amazon storefront which will be linked down below. Okay, and then I drew up the whole process that Beauty and the Bolt teaches you in their tutorial, and so I drew that out here. So like I said, I did mess up on the first day, so I'm going to tell you a few of the things that I probably would have done differently. Um, and would I do this project again? Probably not, just because the sensors are so touchy and very hard to work with, in my opinion. So the reason why I messed up on the first part was because I actually just soldered the entire shoe, and I soldered an entirely different shoe, and then I tried to put my code onto the Arduino, and it was really not working, and I took a lot more testing than I thought. So your first step, if you're going to recreate this project, would be to load your code onto your Arduino, and I'm going to have the code that I coded up linked down below, um, so that if you you want to try this out you can use my code or maybe build off of it what you want to do is test that your sensor is working for me I thought it was just going to be like zero I'm not being pressed a hundred I am being pressed like the measurement from the sensor but it turned out to be a lot different I was getting a 1023 reading when the pressure sensor was not being touched and then it would go lower when it actually was being touched which was really hard for me to wrap my head around so I ended up having to make like an if statement that was like if it goes any lower than 119 then that's how you know you're being stepped on and that's how you know that the pressure sensor is being activated otherwise the 1023 reading and around there um it's a no pressure zone so that's what took me probably the longest and my sister helped me out a lot on making that code and so big shout out to her wouldn't have been able to do this without her um so definitely get your code set up first and then once you know that your code and your leds and your pressure sensor is working then you can start working on the actual shoe and now let's just get into how I went about it. So I decided to go with this type of shoe, which is kind of like a booty. And I went with this one because it's really sparkly and especially with lights, it's very flashy and fun. So um, I knew that I wanted to kind of conceal all of my products in the back part, um, but I didn't know how I was really going to go about like putting in the pressure sensor and all that. So what I actually used is a belt hole punch that I have. And I was able to create a hole right here. And what I did is I put my pressure sensor down in the bottom of my shoe where my foot would put the most amount of pressure to kind of detect that it was being stepped on. So what you do is you have your yellow wire that goes to the analog input on your Arduino and that lets the Arduino know if it's being stepped on or not. And then the other wire is a blue wire which is ground. And so all the wires that I have in this project that are blue are ground, all of the red ones are for 5 volt, the green one is for the data, and the yellow one is for the analog, and that is pretty much it. So that was my first step, was to create that hole and leave the wires from the sensor hanging out, and I left them really long, that way I could measure it out and get it perfect. But after I punched that hole and fed those wires through from the pressure sensor, it was time to kind of start measuring everything and figure out, um, I do want my LED board on the heel, I want to conceal the Arduino up here and the battery pack right there, that way once you're stepping, nothing hits the floor. So what I did first is I put all of these single wires on the LED light board and the Arduino itself. So I connected a green wire to the input, a blue wire to ground, and a red wire to 5 volts on the LED board. And then I connected a blue wire to ground, a red wire to 5 volts on the Arduino. And then I measured the distance in between here from the LED board to the Arduino itself. And that's where I connected that 5 volt to D6, which was my data input pin on my Arduino. 
This is the part where I pretty much just followed Beauty and the Bolts tutorial because you have to make a voltage divider. So basically you have to let the Arduino know when you're being stepped on and when you're not being stepped on. And measuring the voltage between those two is how you tell the lights to turn on and off and switch colors. So to do that, you have to use a resistor. So using the yellow wire from the pressure sensor, so you're going to put that and your resistor together and pin that to uh, A2, which is the analog pin. And then on the other side of the resistor, you have an open end. And so that's where you put all of your five volt wires. So the five volt from the LED light strip and from the Arduino board. And you put those all together with the resistor and you solder those together. And then for the battery pack, what you actually want to do is put the five volt from the battery pack into the data input on the Arduino. And then you're left over with all your blue wires, which you want to just take all of those together from the pressure sensor, the LED light board, the Arduino, and the black wire from the battery pack. And you want to twirl all those together and solder those. And that is literally it, you guys. So this was a really fun project to do. I think these are so cute. Um, the one thing that I will say, I think I got a different board than Beauty and the Bolt did. And I think my board requires more voltage because with the batteries that I'm using, this kind of shorts out after like one minute or two minutes of being on. So, um, and I've used this Arduino board before, but with a five volt battery pack, and this is only giving off three volts. Um, so I do think that um, if I would do this again or if I'm going to replace these and actually wear these out, I would buy some sort of 5 volt battery pack that would hopefully be small enough to fit on the back of this. Um, but like I said, it is just a fun project to have and say that I've accomplished and share with you all. So if you haven't already, check out my video where I have done sewable LED lights on a shirt and the jacket that I made last year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!